Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and today on the Where's Shmi Euro Tour, you join me at another familiar location. Today we're visiting Manhart, where I'm going to take a look at their first Mercedes creation based on the AMG C63S. This is the CR700. 700. 700 for 700 horsepower and 900 newton meters. So we're going to be able to take that out for a drive shortly. But before I do, I just want to go for a quick walk around the showroom and show you some of the other cars in here. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you'll have seen that I've visited before. So some of them we've already seen. But let's take a quick look at these. And of course, Manhart, more traditionally known for their BMW tuning and projects such as this, the MH5 800. That is literally 800 horsepower in a sleeper almost BMW F10 M5 that you probably don't see coming. Behind that, you've got the M3, the MH3 550, 550 horsepower. Again, crazy performance. Um, from the M3. We've got a few other cars around back that I've shown you on previous visits. And here, an X3, you probably wouldn't think more of it, but it's an X3 with the 50D engine from the X6 and the X5 M50D. So two tons, but 440 horsepower and some pretty impressive performance. That does not to 100 kilometers an hour in under four seconds, which is ridiculous. But this, the car we're here to see today, this one right here, the CR700, so based on the Mercedes AMG C63S. It's an addition one car, hence the uh, sort of satin gray paintwork with the yellow striping, but there are some additional sort of highlights visually uh, from Manhart as well. Most of what this car about is about is what's under the bonnet. Taking power up from 510 to 700 and torque up from 700 to 900, that is quite some performance gains. Now I will pop open the bonnet in a second so that you can take a look in there. C100, CR700 naming designation. Let me just come around, pop open the bonnet for you quickly, which is under here. There we go. So you can see what has been done to make this possible. New turbos, painted yellow, which looks nice with the highlights. Um, new intercooler, the car sitting on new springs, new wheels, catless downpipes. Basically all of that come together to make a little bit of a monster. And this car is kind of marking um, the start of new things, I guess, um, for Manhart. Moving on and sort of working with different brands, growing out. Um, working instead of just necessarily with BMW, looking into Mercedes projects as well, opening the doors for, for more in the future and seeing what can come um, off the back of it. So it'll be the first Manhart car I've driven that's not a BMW, of course. We've got a few more highlights around the back. These parts are all from the Edition 1 package, uh, but nicely sort of trimmed with the yellow highlights and obviously testing at the Nürburgring Nordschleife, not too far from here. So in a second, we will fire the car up and take it outside probably hear a little bit of what it's like and jump in for a short little test drive to see what 700 horsepower and 900 newton meters feels like in the AMG C63S. So let's jump in, hear what it sounds like and get the car outside. <laughs> that sound, the bubble. Okay, that is a crackle and a half. On the move then, and you might be forgiven for thinking that this was a normal, ordinary, civilized Mercedes C-Class. When you're driving in comfort mode, it seems pretty peaceful to me. The difference is gonna come when we put it into Sport, Sport Plus, and race modes, and test out what this thing sounds like. Now, I drove the C63S sedan, the four-door version of the car, not too long ago, at AMG in a falter back. So the standard car, the 510 horsepower from the four-liter twin-turbo V8, but this, is a little bit more and it feels a little bit more, believe me. The first thing I'm gonna do is put it into sport mode and then straight through that into sport plus, which is gonna open the exhaust valves when I start dropping the gears. So listen to this, that's third, that's second, that's first, and this is like all hell breaking loose. It's so freaking loud. <laughs> like, what is this? And you can definitely, definitely tell the power. It feels every bit 
of that uh, 700 horsepower, I was going to turn here. Yes, let's do this route. Oh my goodness, just I'm going to put my foot down. Blinking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Just listen to the thing, and if I put the window down slightly, just so you can. It just crackles like crazy. <laughs> what on earth is this for a complete monster, a beast, a savage animal of a car? It drives well, the KW coilovers, um, obviously giving it an even sportier suspension ride and feel. And the C63, as we all know, is a brilliant car. It's so well equipped from a luxury side, it feels like a comfortable, um, really nice car to be driving in, but it's also that constant combination of boisterousness, shoutiness, and fun. <laughs> and it is just absurd. The idea to make this thing, I, I just don't even know, but what? I, I, I don't know what to say. It's just truly, truly, truly insane, the noise it makes. And the craziest thing is you can actually just turn it back into comfort mode, and then you're in a civilized, peaceful cruiser again. And listen, it is. It's quiet. It's comfortable. It's more soft in terms of ride. And it's crazy. Or the way I want it. Race mode. And um, around the corner. <laughs> it's absurdly powerful. I think I might have woken those cows up staring at me like, what was that? <laughs> Can you blame them? So, right, just going past the building. <laughs> Slightly uh, rebellious, just a little bit. Oh my goodness. I feel a little bit sorry for this scooter. Because if I go past them, they're not going to be having a good time. <laughs> like myself from the outside, but I can imagine if the noise inside and those shifting cracks are anything to go by, it's probably a little bit loud. But that is kind of the fun. That's what makes a car put a smile on your face sometimes, and this really does that. Like, how can you describe this? Just the savage ferocity of the shifts. Listen to this downshift. It just whips into gear, then you get those crackles and burbles in the aftermath. It's insane. It's literally insane. I... <laughs> Just this noise on a nice twisty road is pretty close to my idea of fun. Just, yeah. Certainly you need the quieter setting when you're driving in a, in a town, let's say. Otherwise, this could be a little bit overkill, but for having fun with, it's it's on the insane side. And the power, the power, it has so much torque that you barely need to sort of throttle at all, and away you go. I mean, literally, if I'm pointing the car straight, because I don't do it when it's not straight, and just put my foot down, it just shoots. It takes off like a rocket. And one has to do a first gear downshift, just... Oh, -hoo -hoo, yes! onto a more main road, away we go, so foot down here, boy, oh boy, so then, this thing is uh, pretty insane, pretty mental, pretty bonkers, it makes a ton of power and an awful lot of noise. Um, from a general creature comforts point of view, it's loaded. We've got every sort of bit of technology you could want, 360 degree cameras, um, lane guidance and assistance holding you in, all of that. It's like the perfect boisterous one car for everything machine. I appear to have found a little bridge. <laughs> could you imagine if you drove this car in London, what would happen? It would literally just be throw you in jail and literally get rid of the key. This is ridiculous. The significant problem with having this much power 
is that if you put it down and put it down aggressively, all you're gonna do is light up the rears. Obviously 700 horsepower, rear wheel drive, even with this sort of gearbox, which no doubt is having to handle a lot of torque going through it, it's um, quite hard to actually use all of that. Basically, you just end up doing a bit of this, which is what some people probably like, but not necessarily the best thing. Anyway, this has been quite a hilarious car to drive. Genuinely fun. Um, but we're going to head back now towards uh, Manhart to wrap things up. <laughs> back and I've pulled up to the showroom and right in front of me is a new Manhart i8 as well so I'll take a quick look at that but firstly just with the window down for a second it is um kind of well something you have no words about because but you just listen to this thing <laughs> it's just silly it is just silly now let me show you quickly around the inside of the C63S. After all, C63S Coupe, uh, you've got your seat controls up here, your Burmester sound system, the central digital display flanked by the speedometer on the left, the rev counter on the right, um, temperatures and fuel down at the bottom, the very prominent air conditioning vents underneath the sort of floating tablet screen display. So the difference from the E63 uh, is that it's not quite as integrated. Um, IWC clock. Um, all the nice carbon fiber trim, some cup holders and storage in there, um, the command controllers, um, armrest storage, nice trim and sort of stitching in here with all the yellow sort of um, different stitching patterns there, the diamond quilting on the seats, the AMG performance seats. Um, if you're a regular watcher, you'll know I'm not normally a fan of these seats. I find them a little bit uncomfortable. Not a huge amount of space in the back, but enough for people. And then the sort of hatch. Um, and the sunroof, so if you want even more noise, you can open that up. Um, controller up at the front. But this thing is just, I mean, it's utterly, utterly, utterly ridiculous. Um, hit the stop start button. Uh, peace, peace and quiet. Oh, let's jump out. Gravity doing its thing, so I'm parked on a small little hill here. Check out the wheels, we've got the AMG Performance Ceramics. Um, sitting behind the Manhart kind of iconic wheel uh, design on the CR700. But what a ridiculous car to drive, and what a ridiculous noise. It's the standard um, exhaust box, but the catless downpipes. My word. Anyway, let's leave that for the moment and just check out this fella. Yeah, MHI8, Manhart's i8. Um, looking quite nice, some sort of subtle touches, the wheels, the gold highlights, of course. Um, not too much drama uh, in the looks and sort of styling of it. New Manhart badging. But yeah, not a bad visit. And there is one more car as well as I come back down to the showroom that has appeared, which we're going to take a look at in a separate piece, so stay tuned for this. The MH2 630. 630 horsepower in a stripped out bucket seat and roll caged BMW M2. So I'm rather looking forward to that one, which um, well, I don't know that much about it yet, but it looks pretty crazy, so I imagine it's going to be quite a lot of fun. Anyway, this has been a, a sort of quick little drive in the CR700. This car sat right behind me. I hope you've enjoyed the video and listening to me probably a bit acting like a giddy child at the noise of that exhaust system, which quite frankly has been absurd. Anyway, I'll wrap it up there. Big thanks to Manhart for having me down today to take a look around and be able to shoot some videos for you guys. Do check them out. Links down below. And as always, I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.